Hello, everybody. And I was going to do a video. This is a preview. Cruise is with the CMOS checksum error. CMOS error or battery failure. Um, anything like that. So what does this mean? So whether you're a desktop or a laptop, your computer has a battery on it. Laptops have two batteries. Desktops have one battery. So the battery that you know in the laptop is one of the main battery. Using the bottom of the laptop, you can take it out or change it out for easeability. Laptops have a second battery, it's kind of a secret. That battery is when the main battery is dead or missing and there's no charger. The CMOS battery is used to keep track of date and time and hold it for settings in the motherboard. Date and time constantly changes every second, so obviously it needs to keep track of it by having power and keeping track of that um, for the planet. So typically we see the message you have lost power. But if you unplug the data, the power went out, or whatever. So you run this error. Because the battery is dead, the mobile forgot what day it is. You see down here. This is March 24th, 2019. It's clearly not 2007 anymore. But it seems to be the default setting. You can also see this error. This get drive zero six fire. The computer thinks it has a floppy drive now. It does not. It's saying I can't find the floppy drive because it doesn't exist. Why Dell has that the default setting? I do not know. The D and Dell must think we're dumb apparently. But it's there. So we don't know. Temporarily you can use the um F2 for set utility option. Or you can F1. But they, it, it must be just in the rest. I'm going to go ahead and do F1. It will ignore the failures and boot off of whatever else you have. This is just use our booty CD. So, well, it's boot up and shit. This still works. Alright, as you can see, it does boot up. It still works without the battery working. But, are you going to face the battery now? We're going to shut this thing off. And we'll, uh, get sort of very slow. Alright, I'll be back. Alright. I think I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and behind me here, remove any cables you have. So, power, you need to remove. And you need a video cable. I need you to get a little stuck with this. See how it's crazy to jump. I like this stuff wrong, but now it just did you as I came off. Ah. I just fixed that problem. <laughs> oh well. Okay, I put both sides down, so, yeah. Anyhow, what you want to do is look on the back of your meter for your port or the opposite side panel needs to come off. You did it before, and the last one might not have been there. It wasn't. I just didn't have to do it on the computer. Put it on your cigarettes and dips. What's that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess I go see. I heard knocking from the door downstairs. It sounded like I didn't go see who it was. Nobody. Well, I didn't know I was gonna answer now. Fuck. So, that's where we were. Shall we? Maybe the bottom screws. Yeah, it's on the screws, but I'm lazy. I didn't like it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the bee in a lot. Okay. So now, Right. Look at the battery. I need to get up on the dresser. Okay. Next thing you want to do is look at your motherboard and find out where the battery is. Do you see where mine is? You might be able to. I'm not sure yet. Um. There's more light in there. You guys don't really see it.
Now you guys see it? Oh, guys, right underneath, you grab this card right here where my phone is. That sort of thing is the battery. And then the battery card gets to come out. Let's so go ahead and get to work on that. I'm just going to be very weird about it and have the cards come out. And just have a look over at this side here. Move this screw right here. The big one's too big to fit in this tiny area, so I guess I'm gonna use the main one. I'm gonna pop the cover with each other, we'll screw in the back for each card, one screw for each card. We're gonna roll. Easy to get your attention there, but where the PCI ESOC is, it sounds broke, so all I have to do is pull screw on, on the cover screw like this. And it's out. See, I just glued down the BJ port in the last video that I just did. And then you have access to the CMOS battery. Oh, I do. Hopefully, you don't have to do that. If you do, that's how you do it. You will notice on your table, CMOS battery. Even though it's VCR 32 and probably is, I'm not looking at it. But simply, you have a little clip in there. See a small flat head screwdriver. Put between that clip. Be extremely, extremely careful with this. Do not scratch the motherboard. You will damage the motherboard if you do. Be very careful. Don't push too hard. Bend back that little lever. You can bend it and slowly pop up. And we're going to move the battery. So all I can see here is SDR 32 by Mr. Biggie. And just for fun, go ahead and jump over. You don't have to do this, it's just for fun. Show you guys. This is a very wacky volt meter. It's wacky because, yeah, yeah, that thing is uh, seeing better days. Needless to say. Go ahead and test the battery. Just out of curiosity. That. Between, say, 1.38. So, it's getting dead. If you don't see that much, this is 3 volts. Um, I had the power plug in, um, in the last, in the, at the end of the last bit, might have charged a little bit, but it hasn't been dead for, for a while, so there. I just changed it up. I do have a better battery. Um, Somewhere. Okay, there it is. This is in the failed custom build that I did at the end of last year. It never worked, so I just throw it out of there because screw it. See how I charge this thing? This has been in there for a while. Two point five three. Better than the other one. This is important for a lot of people who have been fighting the will help it charge, but anyway, it is 10 years old now. 12 years old. It's usually having old computers as well. I'm just going to know how it is. Make it old and they fail. So go ahead and slide in the new battery. And that's it. We're done. Now we're going to pop in the graphics card. You didn't have to do this. I do because it was in the way. I probably could have gotten around it, but why risk it, you know? Man. Pop that in. Now, get over to the side here. Got a bracket, pop it back on. Some bad screws need a strong power, you need to remove a uh, replace that strong power cable. If you need to read the red screen, mine does not need an extra room power on the power supply. You can see another one. So I didn't need to do that. Pop the bracket back on. 
you guys see that video. I had the um, flathead one ready. I didn't realize I needed a switch. So I'm going back to the field one. To pop this back in. Also, some, I've noticed Doug meters turn on right away when they get power if the Z-Mod is dead. Maybe that's a teacher of a Dell, maybe not, I don't know. I have three Dells that don't have. This one doesn't have bad at all, this one's dead. This one's died recently. So, me know if it or not. Alright. Let me reinstall the side panel. There we go, it's better. And it's a happy thing, but it can't be, because I'm working on the else. Alright, just place it down. And then slide it on. And then obviously the screws. And again, screw this. And here we have See this? That's the one. Everything is a deal on point right now because again, it was boot off of that. That's um, the other smooth screw button. So I'll just boot it out. I'll put it back in there. Really almost did. That's what I really. Go up there and we'll switch the screws out. And now I'll give you a kind of VJ and the power cables. We're going to hook it with the monitor first. Before I do that, though. And then we'll power the desktop. And we'll move it down. And you need to air one more time. The reset everything because it's fast on its side. Get the face set up, you'll be all good to go. You won't do it again. Alright, here we go. It's running there. Gonna post for a minute. That is pretty weird. I don't always do that, and then the door is not plugged again. It doesn't go F2 for so, see that weird air noise? It says it's an evil hardware check is hardware interruption. I don't know what, what the error is for, to be honest. Um, I think it was starting here. Can I see that? And we're going to take the other to the date here and change this to March. Uh, Yeah, what? No. Hmm. I can't change the value of that. The heck? Did not see my key. Oh, it's gonna do it out. What the hell? What the heck? Okay, I have to ask you. Alex. Can we go to 24th? I do whatever function is there shipped. To the post to work, you know, it says be shipped. For this? That's not good. Is that holding down shit and holding that function or FN? Need to post on work. I don't know why. It's very weird. I have a BIOS thing. Anyhow, set this to March. I hate you. I was in 19. Is it a Sunday? Set the puppy drive and the disabled. If you don't have one, don't do this. I don't have one, so I'm going to. And let's get all the errors in the time. We need the military, it's gonna go 20, <laughs> 2019, I think it's 
Try to do F10, F10, just like 10 this year, save and exit. And then you are done, you know, it's a really easy mouse error. To me, it all goes well. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed, until next time. Why is it doing that? That is strange. What? No, it's saying that. Okay, let's just. Um, what? Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm getting avoided, but. Uh, probably that error, it didn't like that. So let's do that again. Alright, so I've made the computer up. And now you can see. This new battery failed again, because you made bad and put in the new one. So go ahead and go down to F2 for a set utility. i fix this. I just can do this over at just it says uh you know uh, that's weird. So if you to start it over, maybe we'll do the error again. But then it doesn't it knows the settings now. Oh my god, but I had no wall. What? <laughs> Why? Steam off battery fell. What? We put the new one in now. Hang on. Can't this stuff just go well? Okay, cut the power out. I didn't have a power switch around there too. I don't know what What are we gonna get this time? Uh, nothing going on right now. It's the most battery failure. There it goes. I, I give up on this one. I'll let you guys know how it goes in the future. It's nothing you guys. That's gonna be it now. Nothing you guys. Take it easy.